<laughs> Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Tony from Sac Studios and today I'm coming at you with a tutorial on how to make custom vector shapes using Photoshop. Now this comes from my Facebook page. We had a user who requested this and I know I haven't made a tutorial in a while. Kind of been in and out of the hospital, a little sick here and there, but I'm okay now and ready to go. So with that said, out on Z and let's roll. So we're going to go ahead and start off by making a new canvas and I'm using 1920 by 1080 that's just the resolution I like to work at you can use really anything as long as it's bigger than the custom shape you want to make um, so now that we have that set I want to show you a little bit about custom shapes so we're gonna go over here to our toolbar and we're gonna click on this little throwout box and you see you've got all kinds of different options in here but let's go down to custom shape tool and when you do that let's go up to the top first and let's make sure that this box is selected and shape is showing so we want shape and we want to come out here to this first little square box and we want to use combined shapes we'll come back to that when that option is available but it's very important we choose that so first of all what I want to show off is there's all kinds of custom shapes here now depending on how you've got your configuration set up you may not see all of them so if you want to see all of them come out to this little gear and click it and it little fly out menu pops out click on all and when it comes up with replace current shapes from all instead of saying okay let's say append what that does is it appends all the rest of the shapes to the ones currently there that's available so then you can scroll down and see all the custom shapes that uh, are preset in Photoshop already now a lot of times you may not find what you're looking for if you want something particular but there are quite a few in here to choose from and that you can add to or edit so let's pretend we don't see what we want maybe we want a chat bubble that has overlapping bubbles and two tails um, so basically what we're gonna do to get that is we're just gonna go back over here to our shapes menu we're gonna choose the ellipse tool okay and like I said we just want to make sure the canvas is bigger than the area we're going to work in. So we're going to draw out a bubble. There's my chat bubble. Now, like I said, I want double chat bubbles. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that layer. Choose OK. So we've got two layers. And I'll click on my selection arrow here, my selection tool. And I'm just going to drag this out a little bit. So like I said, I want two bubbles overlapping. Now that we've got that, I'm just going to go ahead and select ellipse one and I'm gonna hold shift and select ellipse one copy right click merge shapes now that that's done we need to add our tails so let's go ahead and choose our pen tool and again make sure we're at shape like I said before up here now over here we're gonna choose combined shapes and you have to have an active layer shape layer on here to do that so that's why it wasn't available before now once we've got that done we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and click somewhere in this area to make our tail now the normal chat bubble has a tail about right here but maybe we want a different tail maybe we want it to start up here we're just gonna click somewhere inside the first bubble and then come down here maybe we want a longer tail we're gonna click here and just kinda of drag up and that puts a kind of a curve in it for us now you can see that makes kind of an odd shape but what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold our mouse over this middle point hold alt and click it and you see that pulls this line back in to center. Now we're just going to come back into this box and click somewhere else and we're just going to pull out like that and let go. And you see now we have a custom tail. So again let's go to this middle point, hold the mouse over it, hold alt and click. Alright, now we've got our custom tail provided. But what if we want one on this side too because like I said we're talking about two people overlapping a conversation so how do we do that well that's kinda easy too you can see we have our shapes uh, defined here our shape layers defined now if you want to hide those points you can actually hold control shift and press H and you see they go away um, that's the path you know that's the active path so if you want to bring that back same thing control shift and H but we need that visible to be able to define a custom shape later so we're going to just leave it here now what we're going to want to do is come over here to this little arrow down here which is going to throw out a little fly out menu and we're going to choose path selection tool what that's going to do is highlight this path that we created and just like with anything that you want to duplicate like this just hold alt 
down. Um, I believe that's um, Option on a Mac, Alt on PC here. Just hold that down and just click, hold down and drag it over to this side. Now, of course, it looks off, but that's because we need to flip it horizontally to go the other direction. So we're going to go up to Edit, down to Transform Path, Flip Horizontally. Now we're just going to grab it and drag it where we want it. It doesn't have to be in the exact same spot. It can be down here if we like. Remember, it is a custom bubble. And so if we're going to be using that kind of bubble a lot, like we just created, we're going to need to save this as, you know, a custom shape so we can use it again without having to create this all over again. Easy way to do that is just to go up to edit and we're going to define custom shape. Now if that shows up as gray and you can't click on it, it means you don't have an active layer and the path selected like we do now. So you need to make sure you have that active layer clicked over here and have make sure the path is showing like this. So we're going to define custom shape and we're going to call it double chat bubble. Okay? Let's go ahead and choose okay. All right, so now that we've got that defined, so let's just go ahead and remove this layer altogether. All right, so say we're working on a cartoon of some sort and we need that at the ready again. Well, we don't want to have to make it all over again, but that's why we defined a custom shape. So let's go back to our shapes on this menu here. What we're going to do is let that fly out, go down to the custom shape tool because that's where it's saved. Come up here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and we'll see our custom shape that we made. So we're just going to drag it out, and because it's vector, we can make it large, small, it doesn't matter. It'll look just like it's supposed to. Um, like I say, you can drag it all around. Now, if you want it completely proportional, I suggest holding Shift and Alt and dragging up and out like this. Or you can come out this way, you know, change it however you like it and if you need it big or small and there's your custom chat bubble now if you're working with a say you've got a black background and you need the chat bubble to be white just make sure white is your four color and when you choose the custom shape up here got it selected drag it out and if we want it proportional just you can hold shift uh, if you want it 100% proportional you can hold alt but that may throw it off there too so you do shift and just drag it out to where you want it, let go, and you see we have a white chat bubble. And because it's vector, it's not going to be horrible. So you can actually, but once you come over here and do something like rasterize it, then it becomes, you know, a bitmap, and then it will artifact eventually if you try to resize it. So get it the way you want it before you rasterize. Once you rasterize, you'll see that the jagged edges go away, and it looks good. So that's all for today and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and there's going to be plenty more to come. Please leave any requests over at facebook.com slash studios or comment on this video. Um, like, favorite as you do. I really appreciate it and uh, leave any comments you want, requests. I'm glad to do them. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good one.